welcome back to prepositions. Yesterday we talked about prepositions um, <clears throat> and we said that prepositions are what? What do prepositions do? On, beside, inside, against, over. Describe what? Yeah, so where it's located, right? So, I drew the superhero flew over the house. The bird pooped on the roof. The kid is inside the pool. The pool is beside the house. The girl is against the door. You guys know what it, like, right? Wait, I thought the, um, I thought it had to be, like, I thought it had to be, like, Touching it. Like, it is. Or she, she is against. She's against, She's against the, window. the window. The door is. Oh, no, I thought it was beside the house. It is. The pool is beside the house. I thought I had to touch it. No. Just because you're, somebody's beside you doesn't mean they're touching you? No. Like, me and her beside them are not touching you. Right. All right. So, let's see, we did that one, we did that one. Against, inside, over. Next word is going to be around. Around. So, I'm going to write... The dog leash is around the man. The dog leash is around the man. Does the man look happy about that? The doggy kind of does. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do next, we're going to flip gears. I know you're enjoying this. Well, we're going to flip gears, so maybe you won't have homework today. So I'm going to pause this and have paper passers come to me. Okay, so this is the homework page you're going to be working on. It says directions. Read each sentence. You're going to use the preposition that correctly fills in the blank based on the picture at the top of the page. An example has been included. Example number one, the lamp is, here's the lamp, there's the dresser. As they said it's on the dresser. Here's your word bank. This is your word bank. So these are the words you're going to use. You should be able to spell them correctly because they're all spelled correctly in your word bank. So the words are on, against, in, underneath, across, between, beside, from. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Each word is going to be used one time. Now, <clears throat> the guitar is blank, the dresser drawer. Well, beside would work or on usually implies like on top, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. What about in? In would be it's yeah. inside, like the water's in my glass. Oh, what, what are we, what's the, guitar, what guitar is this? the guitar's right here. No, so, uh, shh, oh, let, yeah. <clears throat> let's look at the possibilities. Is it on the dresser? No. no. Is it, could it be against the dresser? Yeah. Yeah. Could it be in the dresser? No. Could it be underneath the dresser? No. Could it be across from the dresser? Like I'm across from that wall. Across. Between? Yes. No. Well, the students in the middle are between two people. Does that make sense? 
So is it going to be, is, is the guitar between the dresser drawer? No. No. Beside? Could it be yeah. beside? Yeah. yeah. Could it be from? No. All right. So let's look. I was super kind last year. And let's see if it goes quick enough. I cropped a picture. What did I say? Well, give me just a sec because my picture's still loading. Well, I didn't, it's not loading correctly. Let's try this one, see if this works. It's still loading. All right, we'll just do it this way. Okay, so there's the picture. Now, if I'm not sure which one makes the most sense, I might say, let me get rid of this because that's not really helping. I might say in pencil, I might say, wow, this one could be against or beside. Now, I... Um... This is what I did when I was a kid and I wasn't sure of the answer. This is still what I do when I'm an adult and I'm not sure of the answer. It could be against, it could be beside. Hopefully I will figure out which one makes the most sense later. So I'm gonna go to the picture. It says the picture, I'm gonna go back to the picture. It says the picture is hanging blank the wall. So I'm gonna go, excuse me. Seriously? It was just loaded. There it is. The picture, it says the picture is hanging blank the wall. Is it going to be on the wall? Yeah. Could be. Could it be against the wall? No. no. In the wall? No. Underneath the wall? No. Across the wall? Between the wall? No. Beside the wall? No. From the wall? No. Now, I'm not going to answer these. I'm going to ask the questions. You guys think about them in your heads now. You ready? The blanket is blank the teddy bear. Don't say it. Yeah, don't say it. So here's the teddy bear. There's the blanket. What word would you say? It says the blanket is blank the teddy bear. So think about where the teddy bear is. Think about where the blanket is. And then make your best guess. I don't know. It could be any of these pictures. All right. Number four. The pennant. This is a pennant. The triangle thing. Is hanging blank the ceiling. The pennant, this orange thing right here, is hanging blank the ceiling. I really shouldn't hear any talking right now. The volleyball is right here. The volleyball is blank the toy chest. The volleyball is blank, the toy chest. Can you redo the pendant one? Uh, yep, yeah, give me one second. The pennant right here is hanging blank, the ceiling. Wait, I'm 
the pennant, which is right here. We're not number five. I know. So we did the volleyball is blank the toy chest. The basketball right here is blank the bedroom. The basketball right here is blank the bedroom. The dresser, we know the dresser's right here, is blank the room from the bed. So here's the bed, there's the dresser. What word would you use to describe the location? And last but not least, the glove is blank the dresser and the bed. The glove is blank the dresser and the bed. Please stand up when you have it all done.